You know when you're colouring things in, do you try to get things absolutely perfect? Well, why not try something completely different? A different way of colouring in, and you can get some great effects. Now, here's a picture I've drawn in pencil, just a very simple picture. I've just drawn the outlines, and I'm going to show you several different ways to colour it in. All very simple, all very different, and all very effective. Now, I'm going to start by colouring in with curly scribble. Now, it's just a case of colouring in between the lines, like you would normally colour in your picture, colour each section in like this, only instead of doing it perfectly, do it using curly scribble. Now, I say perfectly, you've got to get this a little bit perfect. The idea is to try to make all the curls on your scribble roughly the same size. So try not to vary the scribble too much, and it's just a case of colouring each section in like this. And then when you get to the end of one section, change colour and do another section. But don't vary your colouring style. Don't change your style at all. Just again, colour in with curly scribble. And if you colour the whole picture in, in the same way, all the different bits using curly scribble, it looks like this. And if you've coloured it in using felt tip pen, when the ink is dry, if you just rub out those pencil outlines, it looks something like this. And I think that looks really good. It looks like one of those French Impressionist paintings. Good effect, that. OK, same picture, different effect. This time, I'm going to colour the picture in using straight lines. Now, you can use a ruler for this if you want. It's just a case of drawing straight lines across each section of your picture. Keep all the lines going in the same direction for each section of your picture and use the right colour, obviously. But if you want to do some shading, then instead of using the darker colour, you just put more lines in. Like that. See that? A few more lines in there and you get this nicely rounded effect. And then colour the rest of your picture in in the same way, using straight lines going in all directions, and you'll end up with this. And again, if you've done the picture in pencil outline and the colouring in in pen, then just rub out your pencil outline and you get this sort of geometrical effect. And I think that picture really zings. I think that's a great colouring in technique. OK, how's about a crazy colouring in technique? Same picture again, only this time I'm going to colour it in using words. No, I'm not mad. You watch this. I'm simply going to write the words for whatever it is I'm colouring in. Banana. I'm going to keep writing banana on the banana. And you can write it as big as you want or as small as you want. But just keep writing it in. So it's a case of writing in the word for each section. And you can overlap the writing. Just colour in each section with its word. So that's banana for banana. And that's more bananas for the other banana. And then you can do apple pear, orange, vase, and continue to colour in the picture using the word for each section. And when it's finished, it looks like this. And this time, I'm not going to rub out those pencil lines. I think that looks really good as it is. Crazy, actually. And, you know, you can experiment with lots of different ways of colouring in. What about colouring in with curved lines? Or go a little bit loopy and colour in with spirals? Or you could go rather dotty and colour in with dots. <laughs> Try it yourself. Crazy colouring in. Oh, what a cracking way of colouring things in. Forget the usual way and go completely crazy. Way! <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Oh, yes. Wait, see?